doing it, friends? I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. Tonight, we are looking at a new one from Spaceman. This is the Meridian Time Modulator, and it deals mainly in very short delay time-based effects. So chorus, vibrato, phaser, flanger, comb filtering, things like that. You can get really wild with it, but you can also get some really, really classic sounds with it as well. So first thing I'm gonna do here is run it down a track. Of course, I'm gonna run it on Wurlitzer and guitar, and then come on back here, and we will run through the Meridian Time Modulator all by its lonesome. dive into the meridian from spaceman let's start out with the controls so first off we have volume that is your overall output volume then we have a regen and that is the negative feedback then here we have a mix that goes from 100 dry to 100 wet as well as a rate which goes from very slow to very fast and then here we have the time which is the time of the delay and it starts out really really small at like 0.8 milliseconds and grows from there. And then we have a width control, and that is basically how intense the LFO is. And those wave shapes are right up here. We have a sine, a triangle, and a flux. Tonight, I am going to be using a Pinter Guitars SB1J into a subtone amp, subtone amp, sounds like this. show you a couple of the settings that I used in the track. So the first one was a chorus sound that I used on the rhythm guitars in the intro and also pretty much throughout the whole thing. And very, very sweet sounding analog chorus. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
right, so this second setting is one that I used on what I like to call the hook. It's usually the part that I return back to at the end. I cranked the region, I cranked the width, cranked the time, I turned the rate down to nothing. It's a pretty wild setting and it gets very, very metallic sounding. All by itself, it sounds like this. And when I did it on the track, I really wanted to accentuate some of the, the weird oddities of it. So I just slapped on a compressor. in there you, you and your notes ringing out further it does cooler stuff as the notes are going on all right for that first solo section i used something that sounded kind of like a leslie but a leslie in a phaser that kind of thing i don't know um you know we brought the delay time down quite a bit the rates you know where it's everything is pretty average except for that delay time which i took down quite a bit and a really cool sound <laughs> to kind of accentuate some of the phasiness of it, some of the jetness of it, <laughs> if you will, which is more of a flanger term than a phasey term. Um, but, you know, I wanted that metallic kind of sound to come through, and it felt like if I added something to it, I could get it. And so I took the 1981 Inventions DRV, and sounds great. <laughs> Right, so this would be the second solo section i did it with a fuzz pedal and it is kind of a slow flanger if you will so i am back in the triangle again that's where we're gonna get the flange sound and um, it sounds just really, really great. It adds just a nice depth and character to what you're trying to play. So by itself. To give it more of a vintage vibe, I wanted to add some fuzz, and also because I want to add fuzz to everything. So I took the silk tone fuzz and added it on top of there, and now you get something really cool. <laughs> Last one isn't something that I used in the track, but I'm starting to wish I had. Um, it's the flux wave right here. And I have just kind of dialed in something that I think is cool. It's You get this kind of jump. It's, it's pretty interesting. I like it a lot.
So you heard that, that was cool, right? The modulation was doing this kind of thing and it's it was subtle. It's like in the background. I actually had to crank the uh, crank the width on it and the mix was almost all the way up. So it is a subtle sound, but it's, uh, it's a cool and effective one for sure. And you know, hey, that's just a brief look at what this pedal can do. There's a lot more it can do. These are just the sounds I chose to dig out of it. Um, you can certainly get more spacey, more metallic, and more crazy with it if you would like. So um, this is great. Super, super cool. So thanks, Spaceman, for sending this over for me to check out. And thank you for your time. <laughs>